वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज ध्रुव कैलाश टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग नंपाई इन पाइथन वी हैव लिस्ट दैट सर्व द पर्पज ऑफ अरेज बट दे आर स्लो टू प्रोसेस मंपाई अरेज आर ग्रेट अल्टरनेटिव टू पाइथन लिस्ट मंपाई अरेज आर वेरी फास्ट so processes can access and manipulate them very efficiently we can install numpy using pip command pip install numpy i have already installed numpy so we can import numpy import numpy as np here np is the alias There are several ways to create arrays. You can create an array from a regular Python list or a tuple using np dot array function. Here I am using Python list to create numpy array. x is equal to np dot array inside bracket we are passing list 1 2 3 4 let's print x we can see that the numpy arrays is created successfully we can also use a tuple to create array a is equal to np dot array inside bracket we are passing a Tuple two four six eight. We can see that array is created. The function np dot zeros creates an array full of zeros. Here we are creating an array with two rows and three columns. The function np dot ones creates an array full of ones. here we can see that all the elements are of float type we can change these numbers as integers by specifying the data type we can use the function np dot empty to create an array whose initial content is random and depends on the state of memory by default the data type of the uh, created array is float 64 to create sequences of numbers numpy provides a range function for example np dot air range inside bracket 10 40 and 5 10 is the start point 40 is the stop point and 5 is the interval or step let us print this array we can also specify only single digit inside a range function this will create an array starting from 0 here start is 0 stop is 10 and step is 1 sometimes you will want an array with values decrementing from left to right in such cases you can use a range function with a negative value for step and with a start greater than a stop if you provide equal values for start and stop then you will get an empty array a range is used with floating point arguments 
it is generally not possible to predict the number of elements obtained due to the finite floating point precision for this reason it is usually better to use the function lint space this gives nine floating numbers from 0 to 5 that's all for today's session thank you for watching my channel please like and subscribe my channel bye enjoy coding with me through